Hi, welcome. Today, we're diving into something big aging and how we just might outsmart it. What? I thought this was about the new coffee machine. Promised caffeine, not immortality. Relax, you'll still get your coffee just with a side of eternal youth deal. What if aging wasn't inevitable? All right, you have my curiosity and my caffeine addiction. What are we talking here, time machines? Alien tech? Even better, Harvard science, specifically, supplements inspired by Dr. David Sinclair. These are compounds that might help us age slower, feel better, and maybe even live longer. Ah, uh, the biohacker's dream? Let me guess a list of things I can't pronounce but definitely want to try. Bingo, but I've got your back. First up, resveratrol. It's a fancy word for a compound found in red grape skins, blueberries. Like red wine. Now you've got my attention, so you're telling me Chianti cheat code to youth? If only. But yes, resveratrol is a powerful antioxidant, great for reducing inflammation and potentially good for heart and brain health. Pro tip, it absorbs better with fat like yogurt. Red wine and yogurt? That's a smoothie I never knew I didn't want. What's next, unicorn dust? Not quite, but close. Meet NMN, short for nicotinamide mononucleotide. It's a compound your body uses to make NAD, which is crucial for energy, DNA repair, and cellular stress response. So it's like an internal battery boost? Exactly. NAD declines as we age, so NMN might help recharge your cells and activate longevity pathways like CERT-1. Now that's my kind of fasting. What else you got? Ever heard of spermidine? It's a naturally occurring compound found in foods like wheat germ and mushrooms. It helps trigger autophagy. That's your body's way of cleaning out old, junky cells. So like spring cleaning, but inside me? Exactly. Some studies even link it to heart health and longer lifespan. Nice. Next is TMG trimethylglycine. It's a methyl donor, which sounds nerdy, but basically it helps keep processes like NAD metabolism balanced and may support heart and DNA health. Then we have the heavy hitters metformin and low-dose aspirin. Woo, we're going full-on pharmacy now? Yep. Metformin is a prescription drug for type 2 diabetes, but it's also being studied for longevity. Same with aspirin, it's being looked at for anti-aging potential, but it comes with risks like bleeding. No self-experimenting here, folks. Got it, no going rogue with the medicine cabinet. Now, on to some over-the-counter all-stars vitamin D3 and K2 helps with immune support and bone health. So, they're like the dynamic duo of bone security. Pretty much. And let's not forget omega-3s from fish oil. Brain, heart, mood support, they're kind of the MVP of healthy fats. I always knew sushi was my spirit food. Very nice. We also love alpha-lipoic acid and antioxidant that works in both water and fat. Great for protecting cells and possibly supporting insulin sensitivity and brain function. So it's like an all-terrain vehicle for antioxidants? Nailed it. And then there's CoQ10, essential for cellular energy and mitochondrial support. I think my mitochondria are throwing a party right now. They should be. We're almost done two more quercetin and facetin both. Are flavonoids potent plant-based antioxidants? The facetin might even help clear out senescent cells, you know, the old grumpy ones causing trouble. The bad roommates of your body kick them out. Exactly. And last but not least, taurine an amino acid that's been linked to longer lifespan, heart health, and mitochondrial function. Isn't that an energy drinks? It is. But when studied on its own, taurine shows some seriously exciting anti-aging potential. So, caffeine and eternal youth, now we're talking. Look, this info is for educational purposes only. Always check with a healthcare professional before trying any new supplements. And hey, where's that coffee you promised? Coming right up extra longevity shot, just for you. So stay curious, stay informed, and maybe stay young a little longer.